Kyle, what do you think you've done these last just this back to back here to start to get that rhythm uh, developed? How has that happened? Um, just playing basketball. Um, I think that's just the biggest thing. Um, you know, just knocking some rust off, um, get my conditioning back so I'm able to run and cut and do all the things I kind of do, and um, you know, just get my legs under me and my shot. So, is it that simple? Just feeling feeling your legs under you with the shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's what's your main focus defensively as you not contribute the team's either been first or second in defensive rating all season? Um, you know, um, you know, just play defense. I mean, just keep it simple. That's our mo. That's our identity. That's um, how we're going to win games and um, just kind of try as, as give as much effort as I can. So, anything tonight that uh, you focused on especially? No, just um, you know, picking my spots. I think uh, you know last. Last two games, I've done a great job of picking my spots, knowing where I'm going to get my shots, um, being patient, um, not rushing shots when I um, kind of have to. And, you know, that just comes with, you know, getting my timing back. So, it looks like you were getting your legs under you, and you were jumping straight vertically up on those shots. The ones you made were, you got a lot of lift on. It. Is that just feeling your legs back? Yeah, I'm not doing nothing different. You know, same shots I took in, uh, you know, the previous games when I was, you know, coming back. Um, just feel yeah, I'm just, yeah, just playing more basketball, that's all. Yeah. Hey, Kyle, you, you've seen the Warriors over the years where they've been just one of the great teams of all time. And what's it like to see them in the state they're in now? Um, I mean, you can't really be, you can't be great forever. Um, you know, they're a dynasty um, throughout this decade and won three rings, uh, had a lot of success. And, um, you know, when you play that much basketball every single year, you know, you're, you're bound to have nips and bruises and pains. And, um, you know, they kind of been hit with it the worst uh, with, you know, two, three, four other guys getting hurt, you know, KD gone. But, um, you know, that's just the, the, the life cycle of the NBA. Kind of after last year, every injury felt so critical for, for every result. What does it mean to you guys to kind of see, see this game come together without AD on the floor? Um, just the next man up mentality. Uh, we know that, you know, guys are going to take a few breaks this year. Um, you know, some guys are going to get nicks and bruises. And last year, you know, we kind of learned that injuries are, you know, huge. And, you know, credit to our training staff doing a great job of monitoring people and making sure um, that you're 100% when you can play. And, you know, if you're not, just take it out. It's not a big deal. So, Have you used up your break time for the year? Who, me? Oh, yeah, I'm done with that. <laughs> And no more they, breaks for me. You had the upper hand throughout the entire game, the Lakers. How, what was the defining factor that really closed the deal for you guys? Um, you know, we just played defense for 48 minutes. Um, you know, played a little sluggish, a little bit offensively, a couple of turnovers. But I think we did a good job of, um, you know, locking in on defense, um, you know, knowing what they did and countered it and, um, you know, got out and transitioned and ran and, you know, put a lot of pressure in the paint. Um, JaVale did a great job. I think he had like 17 rebounds. And, um, you know, Dwight coming in, you know, just sitting that tone in the paint offensively and defensively. So that sequence, you, that sequence you had with Dwight where you set him up for the lob, how actively are you looking for opportunities like that to beyond just scoring? Um, you know, I'm just trying to let the game come to me, whether that's scoring or passing, um, you, know, you know, just taking my time, being patient, finding my spots. And um, trust the next pass. You know, um, we're a team that we've got a lot of firepower, a lot of guys that can score. So, um, you know, anytime that you can, you know, get a lob pass, give it to one of our big men that you know works super hard for us offensively and defensively, screening and running. So, um, you know, roaring the big fella, you know, um, it's good for him, and you know, hyped him up a couple plays, and um, you know, it's kind of it.